Mad? It's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Gotta find some way to get him to talk about the Marble Street apartment. I'm gonna act all doped up. I hope he goes for the bait. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for Betropin, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? I can't remember. My brain's fried with all these pills. Can't tell Dave from night half the time. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. You're not drinking? I am, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. It won't be a moment. Wait here. The guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Quick. I gotta find something. Doc seems to be interested in property, amongst other things. He seemed to be upset that I wouldn't drink. I get the feeling I did the right thing. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. Maybe a quick look behind those doors. I'll make up some lies if he finds me. Don't make 
make a sound. He's near. Could the doc be the origami killer? There's something about the way he looks. Surgical gowns? I thought he stopped performing operations. Must be some kind of a weird nostalgia for the past. Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I read it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> To be honest, I don't give a damn, because as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit-chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold on. Is my stinger. <laughs> Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move, I won't be long. for a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks, I love it. Oh, no. I cannot believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. We, this humble flock, should walk in his steps for St. John has said. Uh, thanks a lot, but I don't need it. We do not need the Bible in these times of violence and hatred.
Lord. <laughs> Feeling sick, got the sweats, hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. Mad Jack is suspected of stealing the car I'm looking for. Might be worth it. Can you stop that thing? Norman Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? I'm listening. Can we go inside? Blake wasn't in the office when I left. Don't think I'm gonna miss him. A scrapyard. Good a place as any to tinker with stolen cars. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory of a name. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Blood. Now why is there blood here? I don't trust this guy. Hmm. Not the car I'm looking for. The blue Chevrolet is my only lead. Size 13. Must be Matt Jack size. Not much help, this so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, size 10. Most likely a visitor. Tuba trips came. Got it in my pocket. The blood tracks lead to the acid bath. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Is the killer's car being here? 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive.
fingerprints probably Matt Jack's. Not much chance of analyzing anything with this mud. Might stand a better chance of finding something in the garage. on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Uh, broke my fucking nose, pig. Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it. You won't scare me, Mr. CSI. You ain't got it in you. Do you like fireworks, Jack? Cause I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. 
shit, man. Don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident, because you won't barely be able to talk, will you, Jack? You crazy motherfucker. You out of your mind, man. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't to question his kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. Well, continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything? Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Heads in the FBI now? God bless America. <clears throat> now I'm gonna give you a little help with your drug problem, Mr. Five-O. Permanently.
So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. The trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. I'll get started right away, so I'll be ready when she finishes her shower. A strange seeing Carter after all these years. Hasn't changed a bit. Still a twisted fuck. Some nerve, that girl. <laughs> Some nerve. Egg should be ready by now. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But Lauren, wait. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, I, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him.
only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a... Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead. A little further out. Thanks. I hate cemeteries. They depress the hell out of me. It's cold, it's raining, I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. Hey, Scott, where are you going? John Shepard's grave must be somewhere around here. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in the cemetery? Take it easy, the dead don't mind. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77, October. Spend a day outside. 
Well, at least you won't get beat. A little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! John's right. You can't just stand here all day. Might as well go and play. Being out in the rain is nothing compared to being in when he's like that. Mom won't be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this. John is going too fast. He never waits for me. Nothing but a slow boat. chance I can do it all right just you watch It's as easy as pie. Come on! 
play hide and seek. You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. He had never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all as I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. What a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... He could be the origami killer? Come on. Let's get back in the car. The kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave after all these years? <laughs> there she goes again, surprising me. I don't usually like surprises. There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. No trance, whatever music, but this stuff is really loud. Paco Mendez, the guy 
guy that Doc lent his apartment to. Not the kind of guy you take home to mom anytime soon. I'm gonna ask him a few questions. Play school for the jet set. Not really what I can Still haven't gotten over my encounter with Dr. Death. The bartender. I don't know where I can find Paco. the sexy girl. you a 
I say if you got it, flaunt it. Time to swing my hips and get a little rise at a Paco. Actually, I might do anything for a little bit of information. It's pretty scary when you think about it. Feels like the whole place is watching me. But I suppose I'm not exactly keeping a low profile. Hey, sweetheart, the boss wants to invite you to his table. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. You know around here, honey? I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Baco. Are you? Madison. I'm Madison. Ah, I like the way you move, Madison. You're making me all hot under the collar. Maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, cool, baby. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> I'll just follow him to his office. This guy is truly revolting. Ugh. Everything is gonna be all right. I have a plan. I know exactly what I'm doing. This is no time to get squeamish. Even if my legs do feel like they're about to give away. I'll just follow him to his office. I'll just follow him to his office. Gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is going to be all right. Shit. You're making the biggest mistake of your life, Madison. So, welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> I'll take just get in the way of the good thing, sweet cheeks. So, show me what you can do. Take it all. Slowly. Take it all off. Uh, uh, could... Could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink. To break the ice? Oh, we already broke the ice. Let's get wet. Come on. Do your thing, girl. Uh, could, could we just talk first? Oh, we don't need any more talking, baby. I all talked out. Now, show me what you can do. I'm sorry. Um... I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look uh, I'll, I'll just go. No harm done. I like it like that. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never, baby. And 
I never said no on an answer. Think of something. There's got to be some way out of here. The lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh, I know! Baby sweet cakes. Who got it going? That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. Okay, act two. Let's hear Lover Boy sing. Wake up time. I hope I didn't whack him too hard. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Not bad for a chica. But you only hurt my feelings a little bit, mama. <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're gonna know balls when I cash up with you. Boss? Is everything all right? If you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. Oh, ah, what you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Ah, I never set foot in that apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name, I swear! Ah, ah! Ah! Shepard! His name is John Shepard! That's all I know, I swear it! Ugh. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciated this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. How about that? You didn't do too badly now, did you, girl? Time to get.
get out of here. The name he gave me. John Shepard. Could that be the name of the killer? Let's see if I find out. Well, that was a pretty good way of getting a guy to spill his guts. <laughs> Next time he'll think twice before he takes a cute chick back to his office. Extension. Look, I know you kept me out of prison. But that fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask. I think my debt to you is paid. Okay. Don't fuck around, man. No. No, wait. I, I can still help you out. No. No. Don't kill me. No time to waste. Gotta find Paco.
the guy came to see him. Sorry, I don't speak cop. Watch my lips, assholes. I got no time to translate. You tackle know the guy. Yes or no? John. He said his name was John. Friend of Paco's. Always let him straight up. Shit. Looks like a dead end. Road to nowhere. He... He could have killed me. Why didn't he? The suspect dead. Someone tries to kill me. On the right track, do you think? His coat pocket. I tore it off during the fight. Two receipts from the same gas station. Interesting. Forty five caliber. Paco Mendez was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. The killer was looking for something. bullet right between the eyes instant death orchid pheromones the fucking origami killer madison page what was the journalist doing here Madison Page? She may be a witness. He... he could have killed me. Why didn't he? I seem to spend most of my time getting the shit kicked out of me. Gotta go. Need to think about all this. Paco knew the killer. That's why he was killed. A 45 caliber semi-automatic. I'll end up a basket case if things keep going like this. That bastard nearly broke my neck. Mm, it was too dark. It all happened so fast. Didn't have time to see his face. Oh, I got the shakes. 
sweats. Gotta get back to the hotel fast. Ethan, are you all right? I... I killed a man. <laughs> I had no choice. I had no choice. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. You're not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. That changes nothing. Saving Sean is all that matters now. I can't. Not now. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Anyway, I am. Um, I'm. I'm gonna go. I have no more business here. I'm going home. He's trying to save his son. He's being chased by the police, and I'm. I'm trying to kiss him. What an idiot! What was I thinking? How could I have ever believed that he felt something for me? I hope he proves his innocence and finds his son alive. Cops. They're looking for Ethan. It looks like a raid. Sorry, miss, you can't go up. There's a police operation in progress. I, uh, I I'm going up to my room. You're gonna have to wait.
Come on, what was the damn number? Come on, come on. Pick up the phone. Hello? The cops. They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here. Holy 